y'all are excited about this as we are because we are going to tell you all about and show off some things we're bringing. <laughs> That's right, old Big Mac here. As you saw, one of the grots is being in my arms. They're having a lot of fun with the intros and stuff. But uh, what she was saying is 100% on point. It is time for the Tacoma Open. It has actually already technically opened uh, as I am filming this. Uh, Warboss Ken and Warboss Tom and Warboss Zach and all the guys are already there uh, in, in the bunker, ready and registered for their games to start bright and early tomorrow, which is Friday. Uh, well, Big Mech here, however, is not doing that, as I have been talking about. I've been kind of wishy-washy back and forth on playing all of the competitive games or not. And frankly, I'm just not there. I, I'm not that into competitive play in the first place, but also I really haven't played a whole lot of 10th, and especially with how many rules have changed. It's just not fair to my competitor that I'm gonna like sit there with my nose in a book and have no idea what's going on and just not give them a good time. So I'm sticking with the experience ticket going up for all the hobby stuff. But I, I also, I wanna support that. Last year, this was not an option. I wanted to go to the Tacoma Open, but the only tickets available were a full meal deal. It was you either played all the games or you didn't go at all. Um, now I know that they had like free walk-ins where you could kind of like walk around, but you couldn't get any exclusive minis. You couldn't go shopping at the store. You couldn't um, do any of the pickup games or the hobby challenges, none of that. And like, frankly, the whole point of going to a big convention or a grand tournament or something like this is to do all those super fun things. So I'm super excited that they have the experience ticket and I'm jazzed to be able to do this. So all that being said, since all the war bosses are already up there and uh, have reconned and scouted out and been little commandos uh, sneaking up purple painted orcs uh, in their barrels that say not umis on them, we have some intel. Now here is the scoop. I've been trying to decide which models to bring for the painting competition. However, there are no categories, nothing. Even the stuff online made it sound like there was gonna be one for a single model and one for a unit, or possibly like one for a single model and one for a large model or a vehicle. That is not the case. The painting competition is limited to one particular person, period. So everything is going up against everything. And well, that causes some issues. When you think about it, this is giant and impressive and cool looking and will really stand out in a case full of a bunch of minis. Uh, but well, frankly, when you get super duper close to it, it's not the best blending work. Um, the <laughs> cockpits are all glazed over. It, it's a tabletop piece. Uh, and it looks really cool on the tabletop, but it doesn't hold scrutiny to up close. So this might catch the judge's eyes uh, to pick it up and look at it, but then they're going to get disappointed with it. So uh, yeah, Burn Obama is out. Next, we have the Chimera. We were definitely thinking about entering this one for the vehicles because I went way overboard on this one. Um, but unfortunately, it took a tumble. Uh, so it does need a little bit of repair work, but not anything that isn't uh, too unfixable. But things like how the inside um, is well painted, you can't really see that. Uh, even when you open it up and look inside, even with good lighting. Um, so it's just kind of lost. Um, and yeah, frankly, even though it's like a, a cool paint scheme and weathered a little bit, uh, the blends on it really aren't, I, I don't know. Um, I did this three years ago now. So, you know, uh, my painting skills have improved quite a bit since I did this one. So we're going to put this one in the maybe pile. All right, next is my squig. Oh, wait, never mind. This is my actual squig. <laughs> All right, next is the Def Dread. We were definitely thinking about this one. It's one of my most recent paint jobs. I really, really, really like all the textures on this one. I've got some really awesome rust. I've got some really awesome chips and scrapes and blood and whatnot. The, the one thing that draws it down is when you put it on a table with a bunch of other things, the red doesn't really pop on it, it because it does have so much weathering on it. Um, so I don't know that a judge would necessarily pick it up and look at it. Um, also, the basing job isn't the 
best. Um, it was kind of the end of the batch of my acrylic texture, and I'm just not as happy with it as I am my other bases. So again, a solid maybe. I think I like this one more than the Chimera, though. Which brings us to Gazgul. Now, obviously, Gaz is one of my newest paint jobs. Um, he is very well done. He's got weathering like the Death Tread, but not quite as hard. Uh, because frankly, you know, the Death Tread is going to be older, uh, you know, in game than Gaz, you know, been through more battles, things like that, uh, put together from scrap, whereas Gaz is going to be, you know, a little, a little fresher and stuff like that. So yeah, not as weathered, um, but done very, very well. I'm very happy with the base on him. This is a solid choice. I really think it's a solid choice. The thing that drags it down is because I painted it for my army and not for display, he's all black with a little bit of orange. So he does not pop at all so i don't know that the judges would necessarily pick him up to look at him and go oh yeah this is done really well so i don't know we're gonna put him on the maybe all right that brings us to the judiciar uh again very well painted i think uh i like him quite a bit um he is quite a bit older by now he's probably a four-year-old paint job um again i'd really have to touch up the sword and the, the head and stuff and you know Frankly, I think I'd rather keep him as is to show my progress as a painter, because I do have a second one of these for my actual Black Templar armies, um, rather than screw with him, so he's out. All right, that brings us to the Guard Command Squad. You can still enter a squad, even though it says like one model. They are accepting a squad if it's a regular Plain Jane squad. Um, they're out, they're just out. The Rangers, however, the Rangers might have it. Um, it's a squad, but it's a regular squad. There's nothing special about it. It's not a crazy command squad. It's not huge. It's five dudes um, and dudettes. And they are, you know, um, one of my more recent paid jobs. I want to say maybe a year old. And um, yeah, frankly, very, very well done, especially the camo patterns on the cape there. Again, deep dive this in the video earlier. I'll, I'll link it up there if I remember. Um, but yeah, I think, I think this might be... A winner I'm just gonna get with the war bosses and see if the squads are doing okay or if they really 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 just want a single mini which brings us to Kyria Draxus now again I've shown this mini off uh, in that that previous video this thing's to the nines this is one of the minis I am absolutely most proud of I think it looks good down on the table because this dragon is nice and bright and makes you want to pick it up and look at it and then you've got the ombre on the, the the cape you've got the weathered on the bone you've got the wraith bone on the rifle there's just a lot going on with this model it all works really well together and frankly I love it so what I'm going to do is I'm bringing Kyria and I'm bringing the rangers and we'll see if it's truly 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 single miniature I will enter Kyria and we'll see what happens. And uh, if I can do the squad, I might enter the Rangers. Th those are my options. That's what I'm going with. So what does that mean for the rest of the tournament? If I'm not playing any games, I can only enter one model. What the heck's the point of going? Well, again, the experience ticket is all new. It's a brand new thing. I can enter the build and paint uh, you know, takeaway thing. I think there's a challenge involved with that as well. There are a bunch of like Q&A quiz things that you can do. There is, um, you can like register for the classes. There are some that were like extra cost, extra tickets, but there are, there are others that are going on like kind of constantly. Um, you can do any of the pickup games. There's the kill team tournaments at night. I can enter any of the kill team tournaments if I want for no extra charge. Um, and then there's the exclusive minis and the, the giveaway bags and all that stuff, plus shopping at the store on site where they're going to have Forge World and all sorts of really rare, amazing gubbins. We'll see what old Big Mac can come home with. So now I've got my plan of action. I've got my intel done. I know I'm bringing a model. I know I'm bringing a squad as a backup just in case. Um, I don't know if Rangers are a kill team. I should probably look that up. I might even be able to use them in the kill team uh, thing. But anyways, I'm bringing a couple of models to enter in the contest, uh, the painting competition. They have to be there and entered it in the case before noon on Saturday, which is no problem. We are driving up bright and early on Saturday morning, so we'll be there when the doors open. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll be bringing you all of the action from the floor. I might even try to do some live streaming. We'll see what happens. So if you are interested in seeing what it's like to do a grand tournament, one of the U.S. Opens, you should absolutely be stay tuned to this channel this weekend because it's going to be lit.
All right, that's enough jibber jabber. I've really got to get this stuff packed up and ready to go. I need to make sure that I've got a little uh, army with me for pickup games. I need to make sure that I have a kill team ready. I need to make sure my models are packed and nice and safe and that I bring things to repair them in case anything breaks on the way there. I got a lot to take care of, phone chargers, microphones, all that good stuff. We will catch you there at Tacoma Open. If you see me, come up and say, WAGON! WAG! No, I'm doing this! <laughs>